Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 7.2 finding critical values. 7.2 represents chapter 7, section 2 of the person A level maths applied maths year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. I'm going to start off with one tail test critical region. CR is a shorthand for critical region. We're going to be looking at P is less than in H1. So X is modeled to be a binomial distribution with fixed number of trials N and fixed probability P. In H0, we've got P is equal to. In H1, we've got P is less than. Let C be the critical value. C is the largest value such that probability X is less than or equal to C is less than the significance level. Therefore, the critical region is given by X is less than or equal to C. Let's have a look at some important observations. The reason why we use less than or equal to is because in H1, we've got less than. The reason why we take C to be the largest value is because in H1, we've got less than. We take the opposite of less than, hence we're trying to find the largest value of C. So that there is how to tackle a one tail test critical region, scenario number one. Let's move on to scenario number two. One tail test critical region, this time we're looking at P is greater than in H1. So X is modeled to be a binomial distribution with fixed number of trials N and fixed probability P. H0 represents P is equal to, H1 represents P is more than. Let C be the critical value. C is the smallest value such that probability X is greater than or equal to C is less than the significance level. Let's have a look at some important observations. Now over here we use greater than or equal to because in H1 we've got greater than. Also we take C to be the smallest value because in H1 we've got more than. The opposite of more than is the smallest value of C. So we're taking the smallest value of C. Right now the binomial cumulative distribution function table can only be used for less than or equal to. And we know that the binomial CD function in our class with calculator can only be used for less than or equal to. So what we have to do is rewrite this probability in terms of less than or equal to. To understand this, let's have a look at the numerical results. So probability x is greater than or equal to 5. For example, is equal to 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 4. The way we get from 5 to 4 is to do 5 take away 1, which is 4. Using that particular result, we know that probability x is greater than or equal to c can be rewritten as 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to c minus 1. This has to be less than the significance level. Now I'm going to make probability x is less than or equal to c minus 1 the subject. I can take the 1 to the right hand side so I've got significance level minus 1. Then I can divide both sides of the inequality by the negative 1. This will flip the less than to greater than. And the SL becomes minus SL and the minus 1 becomes plus 1. Right now. At this particular stage, I can then use the binomial cumulative distribution function table or the binomial CD function in my class with calculator in order to work out the value of C minus 1. Anyways, the critical region is therefore given by X is greater than or equal to C because that was our starting condition over here. Now, let's move on to the other key parts of this section. For a two-tailed test, there will be an upper and lower critical region. To work out the actual significance level of the test, we take probability of the critical region. That is the definition of the actual significance level of the test. Right, so these are the key facts of 7.2 finding critical values. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. A mechanical component fails on average 3 times out of every 10. An engineer designs a new system of manufacture that he believes reduces the likelihood of failure. He tests a sample of 20 components made using his new system. Part A described the test statistic. So let's have a look at the solution to Part A. Let capital X be the test statistic. So X is equal to, in this scenario, the number of faulty components from a sample of 20 components. That there is the test statistic. Part B, state a suitable null and alternative hypothesis. Right, so let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now we know that the null hypothesis is denoted by H0. So we've got H0 colon. H0 is what we assume to be correct. A mechanical component fails on average 3 times out of every 10. So our assumption is P is equal 3 out of 10, which is 0 0.3. Okay, let's have a look at H1, the alternative hypothesis. 
Right, what does it say here? Uh, an engineer designs a new system of manufacture that he believes reduces the likelihood of failure. So we're trying to test that the proportion P has now decreased. So P is less than 0 0.3. Okay, so that there is the suitable null and alternative hypothesis. Moving on to part C of the question. Using a 5% level of significance, find the critical region for a test to check his belief. Right, now we've got X to be modelled as a binomial distribution. We're looking at 20 components, so the number of trials is 20, and the proportion is P. We're testing this proportion, where P is equal to 0 0.3. Right, now, let C be the critical value. Since in uh, H1 we've got less than, we want C to take on the largest value, the opposite of less than. So C is the largest value such that probability X is, we've got less than here, so less than or equal to C is less than the significance level. So the significance level is 5%, that is equivalent to 0 0.05. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my binomial cumulative distribution function table. I'll be looking at the section with n equal 20, p equals 0 0.3. I'll be looking at the probabilities working my way down, and I want to extract c to be the largest value such that the probability is less than 0 0.05. Ladies and gents, we look at n equal 20, and we look at the column representing p equals 0 0.3, 0. So we're looking at this column over here. We are trying to find the largest value of C such that the probability is less than 0.05. So this probability here is less than 0.05. This is less than 0.05. This is less than 0.05. However, this one here exceeds 0.05. So we stop here. This corresponds to lowercase x equal 2. So that lowercase x equal 2 is my critical value C. Ladies and gents, the C represents lowercase x, and using our binomial cumulative distribution function table, we can see that lowercase x is equal to. Now, since lowercase x is equal to 2, this implies that C, which is x, is precisely equal to 2. Therefore, the critical region is going to be x is less than or equal to 2. That there completes part C of the exam style question. Moving on to part D of the exam style question. Write down the actual significance level of the test. Now, the definition of the actual significance level is equal to the probability of the critical region. So, in part D, what we want to do is work out the actual significance level, shorthand ASL. It is probability of the critical region, which is x is less than or equal to 2. I can easily calculate this using binomial CD function in my ClassWiz calculator. Right, so if I use the binomial CD function, I get the following result. 0 0.0355. If I multiply this by 100, I'll get the percentage. So the actual significance level is 3.55%. This completes part D and exam style question 1. Let's have a look at exam style question 2. Seedlings come in trays of 36. On average, 12 seedlings survive to be planted on. A gardener decides to use a new fertilizer on the seedlings, which she believes will improve the number that survive. Part A, describe the test statistic and state suitable null and alternative hypotheses. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So I'm going to let capital X be the test statistic. So X is equal to, in this scenario, the number of seedlings that survive from a sample of 36 seedlings. The null hypothesis H0 is what we assume to be correct. Um, on average, 12 seedlings survive to be planted on, so that's 12 out of 36, so we're assuming that the proportion P that uh, survived will be 12 out of 36, which is 1 over 3. H1 what is it that we're trying to test? Well, a gardener decides to use a new fertilizer on the seed things which she believes will improve the number that survive. So in H1, the proportion P 
uh, of seedlings that survive will increase, so it will be more than a third. This completes part A of the exam question. Let's have a look at part B. Using a 10% level of significance, find the critical region for a test to check her belief. So we've got that X is modelled to be a binomial distribution. We have a fixed number of trials, that is 36. We're looking at 36 seedlings and fixed probability P. The proportion P of seedlings that survive is considered to be 1 over 3. Now, let C be the critical value. Right, so C is the critical value. C is the, if we go back to the inequality in H1, we've got greater than, so we do the opposite. C is the smallest value such that probability X is, because we've got greater than over here, we must put greater than or equal to here, C is less than the significance level, which is 10%, 0 0.1. Right, so now we can only use the binomial commutative distribution function table and the binomial CD function for less than or equal to. We need to rewrite this probability over here. So I've got 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to c minus 1, as explained over here, has to be less than the significance level 0 0.1. Let's take the 1 to the right hand side. So minus probability x is less than or equal to c minus 1 has to be less than 0 0.1 take away 1, that is minus 0 0.9. Divide by the negative, that would flip this inequality. So I've got probability x is less than or equal to c minus 1 is greater than 0 0.9. Right, so my n, the number of trials, is 36. And my p, the proportion, is a third. Now, the binomial cumulative distribution function table does not have n equal 36 and p equal 1 over 3. So it is impossible to work out the c value using these two quantities, using the binomial cumulative distribution function table. Alternatively, what we can do is use a class with calculator to determine the c value. So now I'm going to show you how to use a class with calculator to determine the c value for this particular part of the question. Okay, so I'm trying to work out the smallest value of C such that probability X is less than or equal to C minus 1 is greater than 0 0.9. I cannot use a binomial cumulative distribution function table because N equal 36 and P equal 1 over 3 is not in the binomial cumulative distribution function table. Alternatively, I can use the binomial CD function in my class with calculator. I start by pressing menu, then I go down to number 7, distribution, press equal, Scroll down to number one, binomial CD. Press number two, variable. So I'm going to start off with x equals zero. The number of trials is 36 equal, and the proportion P is one over three equal. Tap equal, we get that probability x is less than or equal to zero is approximately 4.58 times 10 to the power minus seven, which is less than 0 0.9. Okay, now press equal, replace the zero with one, and tap equal again, equal. Again, that is less than 0 0.9. So I need to up my game. I can replace the lowercase x with a larger number. So let me try 15 now. So if I try 15 and I press equal, I get, wow, I get 0 0.8906, okay, to four decimal places. Again, that's less than 0 0.9, but we're getting closer to exceed 0 0.9. So perhaps if I press equal and I go back, I replace the 15 with 60. Let's see what happens. Tap equal. There you go. So we've got 0 0.9416 to four decimal places as our probability X is less than or equal to 16. This probability here, 0 0.9416 to four decimal places, exceeds 0 0.9 which means that lowercase x is equal to 16. And we know that lowercase x is precisely c minus 1, so c minus 1 must equal 16, giving us c equal 17. Using the binomial CD function in our class with calculator, we've got these set of probabilities here. Now, probability x is less than or equal to 16 is 0 0.9416. That is the first probability to exceed 0 0.9. Hence, the lowercase x is 16, and we know that the lowercase x represents c minus 1. 
So since x is equal to 16, this implies that c minus 1 is equal to 16, therefore c is equal to 17. That is my critical value. Okay, so we can write down that the critical region will therefore be this first condition over here, x is greater than or equal to 17. That is the critical region. Let's move on to part C of the question. State the actual significance level of the test. So the actual significance level is the probability of the critical region. So ASL, shorthand for actual significance level, is the probability of the critical region, which is x is greater than or equal to 17. I cannot use a binomial CD function in my class with calculator because that function takes into account less than or equal to. I need to rewrite this as 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 16. Now I can actually use the binomial CD function in my class with calculator to calculate this probability here. So if I use my calculator, I get that probability x is less than or equal to 16 is 0. 0.9416. So if I subtract these two numbers, I get precisely 0 0.0584. Now to find the percentage, I basically multiply this by 100. Okay, so if I multiply this by 100, I get 5.84%. And that is the actual significance level of the test. This completes part C of exam style question 2.